Hello and welcome to your sixth scripting tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about functions. So yeah, I know there's a lot to learn before you can actually start to make a fully scripted good game in Roblox, but yeah, if you really do want to be a game maker, then you should find it fun to learn how to script and yeah. So so let's get started to make functions then. So firstly we need to tell the script that we're going to make a function so just uh, we do that just by writing the word function should come up in blue so okay so we've told the script okay we're going to create a function now so now we need to give the function a name because we need something to to call the function with so we need to give it a name so let's call the function hello so, okay so we said okay we're creating a function and here's the name of the function the name of the function is hello okay so and then thirdly, we need to put something called a parenthesis on the end of it. So we do that just by doing open bracket, close bracket. So yeah, this is how you make a function then. You type function, you give the function a name, then you put parentheses on the end by open bracket and close bracket. So okay, nothing too confusing then, just how you create a function. And then all we've got to do is end the function. So in between the parentheses and the word end, we we type all the code that we want the function to do so yeah nothing that complicated then just function name parentheses and end and that's all so let's make the function actually do something now so let's make it print hi okay so this is a function all it does is it prints hi to the output okay so also, because it's in a function, we haven't called it yet. We haven't told the script to call this function. So what it's going to do, the script, it's going to go here and say, OK, so we've got the function here. So I know that I know what the function hello does now. I know that it prints hello. But I'm not going to run the function yet, because you haven't told me to run the function yet. So if we close the script and press play, you will see that it does nothing, because we haven't actually told the script to run the function. To do that, we need to call the function by putting the function name and then a parenthesis on the end of it. Okay, so here we've declared the function. We've said, okay, we've got a function which prints hi and it's called hello. Now we're going to call the function by saying the function name and then putting parentheses on the end of it. And what this should do is the script should read this line here and say, okay, so we're calling the function hello. I've seen that function somewhere, which is here, so we're going to go here, we're going to print high, then we're going to end the function, and then we're going to go to line 9 of the code, and carry on. So, if I exit the script and press play now, you should see high in the output, because we've called the function hello, and what the function hello does is it prints high. So, we could do this as many times as we want, we can just keep printing hello, hello 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 it's the same thing as doing this print hi except we're doing it through, through a function instead of just printing hi like this so here we've print we've called the function four times therefore it should print hello four times like that it's printed hello four more times down here okay and yeah that's just basically what a function does um, so examples of what how you can use functions in a game is let me show you an example of how you can use it in a game say we created a function called give sword okay and then we typed all the code in here to give all the players in the game a sword and then we called this function so yeah pretend that i've wrote tons of code in here to give players a sword like all the plays in the game are sorted. So yeah, that's a sort of example of how you'd use a function in the game. You'd call the func you'd put the function here, you'd give it a name, you type the code what you want the function to do, and then you'd call it in the script. So yeah, that's how you use functions in a game. That's how they come useful. So there's gonna be two more tutorials on how functions work. There's two more tutorials after this about functions. So yeah, it's not really that hard just really easy to do. So I'll see you in the next tutorial then.